So today we'll be unboxing the Samsung 2233RZ monitor. And what's important about this monitor? 3D vision. Okay, so this is the 3D monitor. We actually did a tech tips on 3D vision uh, about a million years ago and you can check it out here. Click this link if you want to learn all about 3D vision technology. So it says right on the front. It's a 22 inch monitor. It is 3D ready and in order to be 3D ready it must operate at 120 Hertz. Now that has advantages for other users as well beyond just 3D users because if your monitor runs at 120 Hertz it means that even with VSync enabled you can still run at 120 frames per second versus only 60 frames per second on a traditional LCD monitor. So I'm actually opening this because we're going to be doing a 3D vision demo at our new store that we're going to be opening shortly so we figured well we're going to need a monitor in order to demo 3D and right now this is the only one that you can do it with. So, first of all, we have a quick start guide that's instructing you <laughs> the sad, angry, and happy ways that you can put together your monitor, okay? So make sure you do everything the happy way. And then we will find a driver DVD. I can't imagine why you could possibly want to install a driver for a monitor. Um, a flower. Oh, this is for organizing your cables. Pretty cool. Okay, then a power cable, just your standard computer power cable. And what I thought was the quick setup guide clearly was not, because this is the quick setup guide, but we're not going to look at that today. Okay, this is a dual link DVI cable. So the reason you need dual link, you can see all the pins are here. You need dual link for this monitor because it runs at 1680 by 1050, which normally would be fine, and you could do with single link, except that you're running twice the data rate because you're running at twice the frequency, 120 hertz. So it's sending information to the monitor twice as often for fear of sounding like a broken record. Okay, here is the stand. It is shiny, and if I point it this way, the cameraman's going to freak out because you'll be able to see him. <laughs> He's gesturing to me to cut that out. Okay, here you will find piece number two of the stand. Okay, so this is uh, pretty special looking. Yeah, right there. So I'm guessing this goes in here. Yeah, just like that, awesome. Okay, so then let's get the monitor itself out. I'm assuming this is gonna look like a fairly standard 22 inch monitor, but, ooh. Okay, well, hopefully the foam is really protecting this monitor really well because I dropped it just like is likely to happen in shipping, and uh, so far I don't see any obvious damage, but that won't become apparent until we actually try to turn it on. So there is the monitor itself. That is one shiny, shiny monitor. So you can see it has a 20,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. It is 3D vision ready, as I mentioned before. And then at the back, you see you've got your uh, four screw holes for the Visa mount. And here's where that flower design seems to have come from. Down at the bottom, you will find two plugs, one for power, one for the dual link DVI connector that will power this bad boy. And then let's put this box down, right in the way of the cameraman. And, oh, I see how this works. So this piece goes in here. And there's an arrow on it. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to try and assemble this real time because I'm probably just going to end up looking stupid. But thank you for checking out my video blog on the 3D Vision Monitor. <laughs>